Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Many people over the last few weeks have contacted me asking me questions about the Novavax vaccine. And I thought I would address some of these questions in this video and tell you a little bit more about the vaccine. I have been doing some background reading. There's more data coming out all the time. But what I can tell you is that the Novavax vaccine is yet to be approved formally in the United States, but it is a quote unquote more traditional vaccine in that it doesn't utilize mRNA technology. The results of some of the studies, I'll go over one of these study results with you in a moment, seem very promising indeed. So how does the Novavax vaccine work? Well, it actually contains a portion of the spike protein already. And this spike protein is actually manufactured using moth cells. Added to this protein is what we call an adjuvant. And this is when we add a substance to a vaccine in order to help elicit an immune response. And in this case, it is synthesized using tree bark from South America. It's actually, I believe, Chilean tree bark traditionally. So this vaccine is injected into you then to provoke an immune response and give you protection against COVID-19 directly. It directly stimulates your immune system. And of course, this is different from mRNA vaccines, which involve injecting the mRNA into you so that your body synthesizes a spike protein itself. So that's a key difference there between this and mRNA vaccines. Other vaccines that we use already utilize a similar type of technology in terms of a protein unit that the Novavax vaccine does. And the ones that I can think of, hepatitis B vaccine, which we administer uh, frequently to, to babies, and even the pertussis, the whooping cough vaccine, has a similar type of technology involved. The company that makes Novavax is actually an American company. It's based in Maryland. I actually have many happy memories of Maryland. I did my medical residency in Baltimore and can certainly vouch for it as a great city with some fine medical institutions. Let's recap for a moment the bare basics of how vaccines work because I think a lot of people forget this and have been forgetting this over the last 18 months. When you receive a vaccine, any vaccine, it doesn't just magically give you antibodies. It makes your body produce its own antibodies and immune response. So if we go way back to the first vaccines, they basically used to try to inject an inactivated or weakened virus going back even to the 1700s, I'm thinking smallpox, and that's injected into you to provoke an immune response. So you develop immunity and antibodies Therefore, if and when you encounter the virus next time, you will have some protection. As opposed to being exposed to the virus and eliciting an immune response that way, a vaccine helps you in advance so that you get no symptoms ideally or minimal symptoms. Let's go over then a study of Novavax that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine last month. This was a large randomized control trial conducted in the United Kingdom. There were over 15,000 participants and 27.9% were over the age of 65 and 44.6% had coexisting illnesses. I actually liked this about the study. I've seen previous studies for COVID-19 vaccines which have used a much smaller proportion of elderly people and people with coexisting conditions, as low as one in five people with coexisting conditions I've seen before, but this had a much higher percentage with coexisting conditions. The median age was 56. And if we look at these graphs, they followed the participants for over three months. And the difference in number of cases was 96 versus 10, which corresponded to an 89.7% efficacy. There were zero hospitalizations or deaths. And the side effect profile was quoted to be mild. So these are very encouraging results. I have raised the point previously about prior COVID-19 vaccine trials. The numbers that actually got COVID were relatively small, and I'll let you do your own reading behind relative versus absolute risk. But as far as vaccines go against an illness of this type, a virus like this that causes COVID-19, these results are very impressive. So overall, a very encouraging study result. And a piece was actually published in The Atlantic recently that I also wanted to go over with you. This was titled, The mRNA Vaccines Are Extraordinary, But Novavax Is Even Better. And if we go down into the text, and I'm going to quote here directly from The Atlantic. This is not me saying it. This is quoted from The Atlantic. 
The Novavax vaccine also has a substantially lower rate of side effects than the authorized mRNA vaccines. Last week's data showed that about 40% of people who receive Novavax report fatigue after the second dose, as compared with 65% for Moderna and more than 55% for Pfizer. Based on the results of Novavax's first efficacy trial in the UK, side effects, including but not limited to fatigue, aren't just less frequent, they're milder too. That's a very big deal for people on hourly wages who already bear a disproportionate risk of getting COVID-19 and who have been less likely to get vaccinated in part because of the risk of losing days off work to post-vaccine fever, pain or malaise. And there have even been studies of the Novavax vaccine combined with the influenza vaccine, which seem to be promising as well. And that's good news. Always better to have one shot instead of two, if possible. Further items to note are number one, this does not require refrigeration at extremely low temperatures. A normal refrigerator is adequate. And number two, Novavax has already announced that it has big plans to try to get these vaccines over to poorer developing countries which have really struggled to get any vaccines so far. And anyone who watches my videos knows that this is an issue that I'm really big on. So overall then, I like the sound of what I'm hearing with Novavax, but as we know with COVID-19, things can change very fast. We're always looking for more real world data and I'll certainly share that with you as we get it. I will keep you posted. The more options we have for COVID-19 vaccines, which are shown to have good efficacy, the better for society and the world. Thanks everyone for listening. Dr. Sunil Dan, Medstroik Lifestyle Medicine. We will speak again next time.